Low voltage cutoff, that's the topic today at the bench here at RC Juice. I'm John and thanks for watching another video. So low voltage cutoff, what is it? Um, low voltage cutoff is a setting that is in all the ESCs that we use with LiPo batteries, um, whereby once your LiPo battery reaches a certain voltage, the ESC will actually cut power off from going to the motor. Why do we need this setting? LiPo batteries can be damaged if you discharge them too far. Uh, when you're running something like a nickel metal hydride battery, this doesn't come into play because those batteries can be discharged as far as you want until they just stop working, you charge them up and then you go on your way. LiPo batteries, on the other hand, if you discharge them too far, you can damage them to the point where they just become junk. In the worst case scenario, you can actually um, start to overheat a battery, swell up, catch it on fire, so you can understand the importance of your low voltage cutoff setting in your ESC. Um, as far as the settings for low voltage cutoff, what we set on the ESC is the voltage per cell, not per battery, it's the voltage per cell at which we want that low voltage cutoff to kick in at. Um, that voltage is usually from 3.0 to 3.8 volts, um, but again, you're only looking at individual cell voltage. So the way that the ESC will then cut off voltage based on that information is by the overall pack voltage. So the ESC has to know how many cells you're actually working with. So if you set the ESC to cut off at three volts per cell, it's obviously not gonna wait for your pack voltage to hit three volts, because that would be way too low. So the ESC has to know uh, what cell pack it's working with, be it a 2S, 3S, 4S, et cetera. So the way that the ESC does this is by measuring overall pack voltage and then it will internally compare that to what it knows is the appropriate voltage for a certain cell. So what I mean by that is if you plug in a battery and the ESC sees anywhere from like say six to eight and a half volts, it's gonna know that it's a two cell battery. If it's seen from like nine to 13 volts, it's gonna know that it's a three cell battery and so on. Um, back in the day, some older ESCs, you could actually program them for the number of cells. That's pretty much gone away. Pretty much all ESCs have the auto detect on there. Uh, so the reason that this is important to understand too though, is that, so for instance, if, if you were to plug in, say for instance that you have a four cell battery that's been sitting around for quite a while, you haven't charged it up and you plug it into your ESC. Um, it's, it's possible that the voltage has sagged down to something real low, like eight volts. So you typically, it, it would not even let that battery work at all. But the ESC might think that that is just a, a three cell battery, and then you're gonna run that pack and it's gonna drain it way too far and it is possible to catch that pack on fire. Again, this is a pretty rare situation, but it's kind of important to know how it is that your ESC is making this calculation. Um, so also pretty much all ESCs will have a feature um, where they actually tell you uh, what voltage it is they think you're working with. And they'll do this with a number of tones that they beep out. So that, that sound varies from ESC manufacturer to ESC manufacturer, but typically when you plug in a battery, turn on the ESC, uh, you will get a, first of all, power tone confirming that, that the ESC is turning on then you'll get a series of beeps. When you count those beeps, that is the cells that the ESC thinks that it's seeing, and then that's usually followed by an arming tone. Uh, so we're gonna show you on our uh, very rusty but trusty old ProLine Pro MT here uh, what we're talking about. So first things first, we're gonna turn on our radio. Uh, so first, we're gonna plug in a two cell battery. Again, you'll hear the power tone, you'll hear a couple tones, followed by the confirmation tone telling us that it's a two cell battery. Okay, so we heard, again, initial tone, followed by two quick tones, followed by the confirmation. Now we'll do a three cell battery and same thing. You're gonna hear the power on tone, three quick beeps, followed by the uh, arming tone. There's a three cell, and we'll show you, just for demonstration's sake, with a four cell as well. So there you go, pretty straightforward. Um, so again, it's not something that's super critical, but it's not a bad idea to kind of pay attention when you turn on your ESC and listen to those tones just to verify that your ESC is seeing the correct cell battery that you are plugging into it only because you can destroy a battery if for some reason the ESC is seeing a different voltage on there. 
Um, so chargers kind of work in the same way. When you're charging in normal charge mode, not in balance mode, the only thing that the charger sees is your overall pack voltage. So now you can kind of start to understand why when, when cells start to drift away from each other, it becomes a problem for a pack. Because you might start charging one cell to 4.25 uh, volts and your other cell to 4.15 volts. The overall voltage is correct for the charger, but your cells are starting to drift. Um, so this is again why we see the importance of every now and then balance charging your packs. It's not just for the pack itself, um, it's also for the function of, of your ESC and the longevity of your packs. Balancing is important because most things don't see actual individual cell voltages. We're just working off overall pack voltages and guessing on individual cell voltages and cell count based on that. Uh, so the only other thing that we really need to keep in mind with low voltage cutoff is if you are running a nickel metal hydride pack, you should turn off um, that uh, low voltage cutoff. And the reason for this is NIM packs have a different nominal voltage. So most ESCs nowadays all come preset to LiPo mode, so it's important that you turn it off because what happens is you can plug in a fully charged nickel metal hydride pack into an ESC. If it's in LiPo mode, it's going to detect that as a three cell battery. Um, but it's gonna think it's a, a very low charge three cell battery. So what happens is you'll plug in a fresh NIM pack. You might get a couple minutes of use, sometimes less than that, then all of a sudden your low voltage cutoff starts kicking in. So for instance, that's an email that we get sometimes from guys. They'll say, hey, I bought this ESC. It works great for like a minute but right away it starts cutting off the power, what's going on. First question we ask, what kind of battery are you running? Every time it's a nickel metal hydride pack, we tell the guys, hey, turn off that low voltage cutoff, takes care of things. So that's the only other thing to, to really know with that low voltage cutoff setting. Um, aside from that, guys, that's really pretty much it. Hopefully this helps clear up low voltage cutoff, what it is, how it works, why we need it. As always, if you have any questions, we're gonna have a link to our contact info down in the description. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next one.